Who's my head judge? Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Check. Can you guys hear me? All good? Yeah, okay. Yes, can I have my music, please? All right. Are you guys ready? Okay. And we can have fun together. Time. Hi and welcome, judges. How are you today? This is the first thing that I always ask to my customers because I like to understand their feelings, their story, and if they're familiar with specialty coffee. And then, once I get to know them, I can share with them my story and my experience. And today, finally, I am super excited to do this with all of you. I am Dani, I'm 23, and I've been working and competing in coffee since I was 18. I have probably been a barista in several countries where I could taste many espressos, realizing that a good story around it elevates the experience. I tried many milk drinks, noticing that only few pairings between coffee and milk work amazing. And finally, I tried many coffee cocktails, and I could see how having fun with customers can make the experience unique. So today, for my first course, which is the espresso, I want to start with a story and invite you on a trip and to Panama. So you can take a look of the summarizing cards you have in front of you, and I'll be right back, okay? We are on the Baru Vulcan in the Vulcan region, 1,700 meters above the sea level. Kai Jensen, who's here today, is the owner of Los Alpes. And here, the many exotic fruits like papaya and pineapple enrich the soil, giving to my coffee complexity and sweetness. The variety is a high quality green tip geisha, which will give you those classic notes, elegant of orange in my espresso. So I'm going to give you the tasting profile now, so you can write it down. But don't worry, we will share together this tasting experience in three different sips. So you will find, please write down. In the first sip, papaya and candied pineapple with a medium body and a syrupy mouthfeel in sparkling citric acidity. When the second sip will be blood orange and mango. And here the texture becomes round. And in the last sip, you'll have tartaric acidity and an elegant tannic aftertaste with red wine flavor note. Which is given by the process, which is a 96 hours anaerobic natural. Recipe for my espresso today is 19 grams in and 40 grams out in order to achieve a balanced cup in medium acidity, medium high sweetness, and low to, be the, uh, low, and low to medium bitterness. Now guys, please, you can evaluate the crema, but don't drink it just yet and wait for my instructions, okay? There you go. There you go. There you go. And now, you can take the small spoon on your right and stir my espresso three times. And then you can put the, uh, the spoon in the black cup in front of you. The first sip is going to be refreshing. A tropical shower with those flavors that I mentioned before. And that's sparking citric acidity. Go ahead and enjoy the first sip, but wait for my, for my instructions for the second one, okay? Now, judges, the espresso has cooled down. So please, swirl the cup again three times and go ahead 
with the second sip and enjoy the texture that here becomes round. Go ahead and enjoy the second sip. And last, and my favorite sip, go ahead, enjoy the beautiful red wine flavor with an amazing and elegant tonic aftertaste. I wish I could drink it with you. Go ahead and enjoy my espresso. This is for my signal to drink. And next to up for the milk. Now judges, I hate to interrupt, but if you're ready, we can go ahead and move to the milk beverage. For my milk drink, I wanna share my personal experience in pairing coffee and milk with you. And for this reason, I brought an incredible coffee and a very special milk. So let's start with the milk. Let me introduce you Simone. He's a crazy dairy farmer coming from Maleo, a small village close to Milan. He has 50 Gersten cows, and they produce an incredible seasonal milk available only from September to December. So isn't that amazing we can have it here today? This milk has some elegant floral notes given by the cow's feeding. But for a unique milk, I needed a special coffee. So my coffee, for the milk beverage is from Colombia. Cauca Valley, 1800 meters above the sea level. We are in the beautiful Las Margaritas farm. The variety is a Sudan Rumé, and the process consists in a 25 hours aerob open tank aerobic fermentation that gives to this coffee elegant spicy notes. But with my milk, it will turn in, please write down, velvety mouthfeel, cardamom bun, in the first sip, and the second sip will be nougat, with a very fresh rosemary aftertaste. Now, judges, please, before you drink my milk drink, I'm going to ask you to steer three times again with the other spoon you have. And then you can put it in the same cup. I mean, in the black cup in front of you again, of course. So please, steer it three times and enjoy my milk drink. Go ahead. Recipe for my milk drink today is 19.5 grams in and 38 grams out with 80 ml of milk per each cup with 5.1% of fat. There you go, please enjoy. This recipe, in order to allow a great taste balance with those amazing flavors. Also, working in many different countries, I could see how tricky a milk drink can be. Because very often we think that just by adding some milk in our espresso, we can make it tastier. Please enjoy. Personally, I do believe that some coffees are just too delicate and elegant, like my espresso. And that each coffee needs a different milk. Thank you very much for waiting and enjoy my meal drink.
Now judges, if you're ready, we can go ahead and go to the signal to drink. For my signal to drink, I would love to have fun together, okay? So let's go back to the beautiful Los Alpes farm, one of the most amazing spots in the world. You're ready to get a fresh cocktail surrounded by coffee trees and tropical fruits. One of them is the pineapple, which is also the first ingredient of my signal to drink. I'm adding two CL of pineapple reduction that I made squeezing two pineapples and 100 grams of boiling water for 10 minutes. This will bring a new note in my signature drink of passion fruit. And then in Los Alpes, we, are, we have coffee, tree, coffee trees and therefore coffee cherries, where we can take the second ingredient of my signature drink, the cascara. Cold brew cascara, I'm adding four CL. I made this cold brew yesterday. 24 hours, only for you judges. And this will bring a new note of raisin. And be careful, because there might be some bees flying around between coffee flowers. And they produce an incredible honey, which is the base of my third ingredient, the honey simple syrup, which I made with one part of honey and two parts of boiling water for 10 minutes again, and then cool it down. This will result in a new flavor of cane sugar. And then we have, of course, my espresso, which I brewed with the same recipe of my espresso course. So 19 grams in and 40 grams out. This is the structure of my signal to drink. I'm using all the ingredients coming from Los Alpes. All of them, but one. As you may see, I'm using very special ice cubes. They come from the second ingredient of today, the Sudan Rume. These special ice cubes combined with my espresso and all the ingredients will give you a new note of cola. So, my signature drink is going to be cold, refreshing and sparkling. And now I'm going to add CO2 because, as I said before, the process is a 96 hours anaerobic natural. And Kai Jensen called this process CH1 because it reminds of a sparkling acidity of a champagne. So judges, in my signature drink, you will find, please write down, in the first sip, Fizzy mouthfeel with flavors of cola and passion fruit. When the second sip will be raisin and cane sugar in sparkling citric acidity. We've been through a story in my espresso. We've been through an experience in pairing coffee and milk in my milk beverage. Now, I would love to add one last kind of secret ingredient for my signature drink. Adding a bit of fun with this aroma gun, which is going to increase the citric aroma giving you a full experience of what Kai Jensen can have every single day in his farm. There we go. So, on behalf of Jensen, Las Margaritas, on behalf of Simone, my team and myself, and for all of those people who cannot be here today, thank you very much, time. Daniele. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Did everyone enjoy that? Stay here. Woo. This is a long round of applause. 
looks like San Siro. <laughs> an ovation. Congratulations. Thanks. How did you feel that went? I had fun. I had a lot of, a lot of fun. Coffee tasting amazing. Yeah. So I'm happy. It must be quite important being a hometown hero Oof. competing in Italy. How did that feel when it got moved to Italy? Yeah, actually, I'm not living in Italy anymore. I'm living, yeah. in, I mean, still yeah, exactly. close in, yeah. in Zurich. But yeah, it's nice to be home, yeah. to, be, to be back in Milan. Uh, exactly. Stick. I think everyone appreciated having you here. It yeah. would uh, be an important thing to have an Italian champion in Italy. I think that'd be incredible. Yeah, so, did you feel the routine went smoothly? Everything you're yeah. happy with? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy. I tried a coffee in the setup as well. It was uh, just, uh, just good. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited yeah. by your aroma at the end there. Do you want oh, to yeah. taste a bit more? Yeah, yeah so I cool. can let you try a few. It's not really a gun, but yeah. so don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, guns aren't allowed in the competition. <laughs> but is there anyone in particular you want to thank while you're up here? Uh, yeah, um, all the people that helped me. Uh, Bugan team, Team Italy, Team Mame. Oh, so your judges are about to leave. Sorry. No handshakes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cool, so we're going to head over for a little interview over in the corner.